Last time on Boomology 101. We actually have a new student joining our class every other day. Hello, everyone. My name is Cosmo Darth Octavius Wright Morningdale. I'll now get into my interests. Logan, I want to hear your poetry, please. We're a big family. Would it be okay if I did read my poetry for you guys? I feel safe enough now that I can do that. <laughs> Which poem are you are you gonna read? My favorite. Crabs. <coughs> Crabs. Crabs. A hard exterior in the form of a shell that all of me believes in. Every inch. Every cell. <coughs> Crabs. Crabs? Soft pink fleshy meat inside that the rich folks and their cushy country clubs feast upon in which crabs crabs they reside upon ever crushing tides with claws they reach and grab of which nature they abides why must they feel the need to hide crabs crabs in their shells and holes which they mean to call home on the sandy bottom with ten legs which they crawl and roam though not built in a day they too build their homes in a day with the knowledge that will be crushed in a day thank you crabs <laughs> Is the best comedic poem I've ever fucking heard, and I haven't heard any other than that one. So that was pretty great. Brett, shut up. What? Why? Just, just shut up. Yes, ma'am. Well, don't all start talking at once. Oh, well, that was wonderful, Logan. I was, I was just reeling ab about how oh, confusing good it was. Yes. I've never heard anything like that before. Yeah, I um, I tried to mix a bunch of different styles from all my favorite poets together. So. And I've told you my thoughts on the poem before when you read it to me before, and you've already explained the, the meaning behind it, I'll be abstaining from this particular conversation. Oh, Allie, don't be modest. You know I care about your opinion. Well, since we're talking about opinions, I actually had a few criticisms myself for a what serious criticism? poem. Isn't it really good? Right, guys? Isn't it really good? Uh, well, I meant that they were constructive criticisms. Um, Wait, hold on. Did you say it was a serious poem? Fred, okay? He looks like he's gonna puke. No, no. He just had something really spicy to eat and his Caucasian stomach isn't handling it well. He didn't eat anything, like, this entire- Oh, this is wrong on another subject! Why don't you my brains out? Bye! No, no, I don't think he's anything. I think he's a little, you know, what was it? What was it that you said, Allison? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, he can't handle the flavor of something, something sophisticated. <laughs> what was that, baby? <laughs> Coming. Sorry, I have to know my boyfriend needs me for something. Fred Garcia needs something. <laughs> He'll probably be right back. Fred has literally been laughing the entire time. Fuck, I didn't turn off. What? 
No, he's screaming in agony. Dude probably didn't even make it to the bathroom. Poor guy. Sorry, guys. It's my mom. Yo, what's up, dude? Dude, that was so awkward. I thought it was comedic, and it was not. And then I told them that it was a good comedic poem. I beefed it. No, no. I don't even think they noticed, but I didn't even know what to say. I didn't get the crab stuff, and that was, like, half of the poem. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know they liked crabs. Jackson, turn off your camera. Oh, sh sorry. My mom was asking me about a crab dinner. The way Jackson talks to his mom is pretty, pretty cool. Calling her dude and bro and and maybe dude bro. I should try it. Whitaker. Hmm? Please, sweetie, I can you be quiet just for a second. I I can't believe I'm fucking saying this, but um, Madeline, what do you think? It's good. Sorry, I uh didn't even really hear it. I was on my phone. I only half heard. You were literally weren't on your phone at all. You just hate it. Why doesn't anyone just say they fucking hated it? Because, Logan, we didn't say that at all. Nobody here said that. Yeah, um, I think, like, honestly, it's my new favorite poem. I... Bye. Wait, Logan, I'm sorry, I... Oh, wow, Katie, you're so amazing. I don't want to hear it right now. No, no, I think this really just... You know what? Madeline, I, I don't know why the fuck you have such a big problem with me, but I'm not... Uh, ladies, ladies, please, we shouldn't be fighting. I, I think one of you needs to go text or call or email or whatever uh, social media Logan has and... Make sure that they're Madeline, okay. Leave me the fuck alone, okay? I, I embarrass someone that I deeply care about, and, and you rubbing it in, and, and it's basically pushing it too far, and I put up with so much of your shit, and I'm not doing it anymore, okay? You, you throw the word around a lot, but if anyone here is a bitch, it's you. Katie, that is not very PG, first of all, and... This is an absolute disaster. Not to mention that we still have an hour and a half left of class and I have only two students left here who are not completely in... One student who, who is not completely upset. One... One student. But... But... I thought we all just said we were a family. And now everyone's so sad, and so mad. Uh huh. That there, there, which um. Oh, greetings, inferior one. Have you bested all the other fellow classmates in combat? What? Well, given the fact that whenever I'm the last one standing, it must mean that I must prove myself worthy. So now, I suppose we must duel. I can't handle all of this. Another flawless victory. I truly am the superior life form. <laughs> was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done this. I don't even know what to say when they get here. Hey, Doc. Oh, uh, Logan, you're, you're here. Reluctantly. So, um, what's this about me failing the class? Oh, well, um, um, I, I might have told you it. A little, a little lie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I, I lied to you. Um, You missed last class, and I heard that Katie said that you didn't return any of her calls, so I was I put just in a worried request, about it. I put in a request to switch classes, and they said I didn't need to go. 
Oh, um, I'm sorry, Logan, what, why? Because clearly I've already made enough of a fool of myself and I prefer not to be reminded to be made fun of. I'm not letting people burn. I'm sorry, Logan, what did, what did you say? You didn't let me finish. I was trying to say that I'm not letting people verbally abuse me anymore like I already suffered enough in high school. Uh, no, Logan, that's, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, yes, I'm very sorry to hear that you had experiences like that, but it, you know, it must have been hard, but I think it should go without saying that this isn't like high school and nor are the people in our class like that either. I mean, sure, Allison and Brett probably hate each other and well Madeline definitely hates Katie and sometimes I think that she kind of hates everyone and well I definitely hate all of your us point too. my point is when you've decided to open up to us let me put this in terms that you might understand uh, when you open up a crab absolutely then, not this is totally ridiculous oh, oh yep okay yep Logan that was a bad idea I realized that um just listen to me. You said that somebody made fun of you. Yeah. Who made fun of you? Seriously, Logan. Who made fun of you? Okay, well, Brett started laughing at me. Was it a malicious laugh, or is that just how he acts when he gets nervous? Regardless, he called Jackson to talk about me behind my back. Logan, maybe you didn't hear them, but I'm pretty sure that... Everything that they said over the phone is because they didn't know what to say to you. You know, now no one knew, and I don't think that anybody had the correct response, but Madeline and Allison tried to get through it and abstain from talking about it, and, well, you didn't like that. Katie tried to be overly positive, and, well, you didn't like that either. Whitaker probably didn't mean it, but in his own stupid way he tried changing the subject and even then you so what you're saying this is all my fault for opening up for being vulnerable for once no logan what i'm saying is that you decided to share something deeply personal with the class and while well, they tried to be supportive of you because they knew how much it meant to you you know, when you open your heart as you did, you can't take it personally when they don't react the way that you want them to. That's part of the risk of letting people into your life. Have you ever asked Allison for feedback? I... No. I mean, she probably tried giving it to me before and I just... Got defensive and shut down? Yeah. And then she stopped asking you about your poetry. Right on the money. And then you went okay, on to Okay, okay, okay. You can stop psychoanalyzing me. It was very brave of what you did, Logan. It, it really was. You know, when I was your age, I... Gosh, I never share anything personal to me with... Well, anyone. Logan, you've been hurt before. Nobody can deny you that. But... Despite how crazy and wild this class is sometimes, don't you think for a second that anybody actually wants to hurt you? You know, in my two years of teaching, I haven't had a class quite like this. And sure, maybe you don't care about the opinion of someone as, as out of the loop as I am, but you know, I've seen bullies. I've been bullied. And well, they're not really bullies. Okay, well, maybe Madeline, but you've been on her good side recently, so. I guess when I saw that they didn't like it, I just shut down because I assumed they were going to just rip it apart. It's just hard because I know Shakespeare to Edna St. Vincent to Brock Guthrie to even fucking Dr. Seuss. I should be good at poetry. I, I know the rules to so many different styles, to so many different forms of writing, and that one was my favorite because I just love crap so much. So why wasn't it good? Why didn't anyone like it? Well, maybe it's because you never asked anyone about it, Logan. I mean, do you think that all of my research papers in college were good on the first try? <laughs> Fuck no, absolutely not. 
I asked all of my favorite professors to read them, give me notes. And if I disagreed with something or I didn't understand what they said, then we would have an open discussion about it. And I wanted to know what they had to say. Now, Logan, you have friends in this class. You decided to trust them to hear your poem. And now you need to trust that their feedback will be something worthwhile to you. Not something meant to harm you, but something to help make you better because they can. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, Logan, you remind me a lot of myself. Well, except for the whole non-binary thing. And hopefully a drug addiction won't make an appearance in my life anytime soon. Ignoring that, if you did what I did and turn away from people the second that they are getting too close, you'll end up like me. Oh, God. You know, I'm a single woman in my 30s with two doctorates to show off and no one to show them off to. So, if I were to ask you what you thought about my poem, what would you say? Um, I would say that with my very limited knowledge about things when it comes like the arts, you can't only rely on logic. You're a bright young individual, Logan, and you can write something beautiful. I know you can. And so you have to stop thinking about what Shakespeare said or what one of those other poets that you mentioned. It doesn't matter what they wrote. You're writing about what you have to say. And sure, if you want to write about crabs, go for it. But I think that there's more in that big, beautiful brain of yours than just crabs. Well, Dr. McNamara, thank you for this call and letting me know that I am not failing the class. <laughs> no problem, Logan. And um, I'm sorry to hear that you'll be moving to a different one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's been a real pleasure having you in class, Logan. Bye. Bye, Logan. Wait, 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 hold on, Doc Mac. Um, you didn't just feel the need to have this conversation because I'm one of the gays, right? Bye, Logan. Okay, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to week four of our Biology 101 class. I am so happy to see everyone back here for another week. So let's get started on that study guide um, for the next chapter, the one about geographical change. Now, does everybody have a... Whitaker? Yes. Yeah. You, you raised your hand for me. Yeah, but then you said my name. What's up? Um, I said yes to whatever color question you have today. Did, did Logan rejoin the class yet? Well, you know, Whitaker, after the last three classes, I thought that you would have finally realized that Logan changing classes was a permanent thing. That doesn't necessarily mean forever, right? Whitaker, that is exactly what permanent means. Logan isn't going to be doing it. Again! Jesus Christ, not again. Hey, Dr. McNamara. Oh, thank God. Katie, yes, what is it? I just sent you something in the chat, and as well as an email that you should read. It's about, you know... The thing we were discussing. Um, yeah, what what thing in the chat? Yo, wait, so... Katie, you're talking to Logan a bunch? <laughs> and now you're talking to Doc Mac? When are you going to start talking to Brett? 
It's just about the class and Oh, oh yes, I found it the email. Okay. Um let's see here. Oh, please don't read it. Oh. Uh dear Dr. McNamara, I just got the test results back from the education department on my science placement exam. Uh, I passed it and will no longer be needing to take Biology 101. This class period will be my last best Katie Santos. Katie? Oh, wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I meant to tell you guys. I just, I just didn't. Oh, we should have a goodbye party. Really, Madeline? Yes. This is the best thing that happened to me since my ex-boyfriend Lyle bought me the entire nation of Canada for my birthday. You can not expect us to believe that you own Canada. <laughs> you idiot, I didn't keep Canada. I sold it when we broke up. Too many painful memories. How else do you think Justin Trudeau became prime minister? But I'm pretty sure you already knew that. Holy shit. My Brett, goodness. are you okay, man? Yes. You don't, you don't have a reaction or anything? No. It would seem the majority of his functions have ceased. Broken? Shock? Katie broke Brett! I didn't mean to, I just... I, I don't need this class, technically. You don't need us? No, of course I do, I... it's just... Don't worry, I'll snap him out of it. Brett, you're a stupid fucking idiot. Such a dumbass, too. Haha, <laughs> cool. Oh no, that's not good. Brett, come back to us. Brett, come on. Right on. Okay, yeah, um, this is very unsettling. Perhaps he is some kind of robot, bot, 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 automaton. Sorry, I have a stutter. Try rebooting him. Is, is Brett a robot? No even though he'll never know what love is, like my boyfriend and I do. You go, girl. I've done all I can do. Oh, God. He's turned into his posting doll. How do we fix this? Well, it seems like we don't do anything. He's gone. Oh, no. No. <laughs> We, we can't lose a love. Or Katie. And we can't lose Ray. Can I have a cookie? I'm, I'm sorry, is he quoting Chatty Cathy? What, the dolls that my mom collects? Yeah, how does Brett even know what that is? Please brush my hair. Um, okay, well, I think that we should move on, and hopefully he'll stop all that- Hold on! I'm going no. to call his dad! You have his dad's phone number? Don't you have your best friend's parents' phone number on speed dial? OMG, do you have, like, a flip phone? <laughs> no, Madeline. My parents are overprotective, but they're not that overprotective. We have a landline. Um... Guys! The beta male one is distressed. That's not, not... Everyone's leaving, and, and gone. I, I think we could use a, a heavy amount of cheering up. We should play a game and have a goodbye party for Katie. Oh, wait a minute. That's really sweet of you to say. A good riddance party? Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's not what I... That's so <laughs> The Wicked Witch is dead. Someone died?! Well, you know what, Whitaker, when I just realized, I think that if I have to hear your voice for the rest of class, I'm going to need some heavy amounts of cheering up. So, if you would excuse me, class, I will just be right back. I wonder what game she's going to play. Possibly Dunk Dunk Swallow. On the island of Madame Asmar, I often partook in that classic beloved game of debauchery, drama, dynamite, and of course, trumpets. Is that, like, one of those weird card games or something? No. It's a cousin to the game Tag and Bobbing for Apples. I'm how? sure you're all familiar. How? 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 Tell me a story! 
Oh, oh, I have a story. One time my ex-boyfriend Liam like totally forgot that it was our four month anniversary. And I was like, dude, how can you not remember that our anniversary was Friday, July 4th, 2014 at 5.38 AM? Like just add four months to that. It's not that hard. So on Tuesday, November 4th at 5.38 AM, when I called him, he didn't even pick up. And after the eighth time calling, his mom finally picked up and yelled at me. Like, sorry to sense an inconsiderate asshole. Ugh. How do you remember that? Weren't you like 12? I mean, my boyfriend remembers every single anniversary ever, so I never, ever, ever understand what that's like in a million years. But. Well, sometimes people don't remember two hour anniversaries. It said four months. Exactly. That's a normal time for an anniversary. Hey, hey, Jackson. Get the fuck out of here! I wish your Wi-Fi was still bad! Fine! Ooh. Before Alice had started screaming more, Daddy's gone too. Can we please play a game? Sure, Whitaker. What game do you want to play? Well, I've heard of a game called Seven Minutes in Heaven. I've always wanted to try it. Oh, am I? So, does that matter? I don't think it's your kind of game. It's a little... naughty. Oh, uh, then no thank you. You're the one who asked- No thank you! Please change my dress. Okay, seriously, Brett really needs to stop. He's creeping me out. Yeah, my mom's Chatty Cathy dolls always just started talking without anyone pulling the strings. They're so creepy. That's concerning. Do you love me? <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah, man, I miss you. Please come back. Someone has to do something. Eh, it'll probably fix itself. Well, I'm doubting that that's going to happen anytime soon, if at all. I mean... I love you. Fuck, Jesus, did I just- oh, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guy, did I just have like a fever dream that I just like told Katie that I love Katie because like I don't love Katie or anything? That's crazy. I don't. What? Is it? Brett, you're back, man. Yeah, hi. Um, I think like my brain just like shut off because I heard something that I didn't want to. Was it was someone? Never have I ever. Leaving? We were gonna play Never Have I Ever. <laughs> yes, that sounds great. We should all play Never Have I Ever, and Katie will never leave. Yeah. I mean, I should. No, leave it. Leave it, Katie. Yeah. Let's start the game. Wait, look at her. Are you sure that you ever played? Um, I'm gonna go first. Never have I ever been poor. All right, I don't think- Yeah, put your poor ass fingers down! Sorry, sorry. I get really competitive in games. I didn't mean that. You, you get really competitive with never have I ever? Brett's a beast in all aspects of his life. Yes. <laughs> he gets it. I will now take the next position of player. Never have I ever consumed food through my own mouth. What? Wait a Okay. I have now invested you all this round. One by one you will fall and I will be the champion of whatever this game is called. No, no, dude, I'm beating you so fucking hard right now. Don't even come at me like that. You're tied, Brett. Shut up, Allison! But Whitaker, would you like to go next? Yes, thank you. I would love to. Never have I ever had a father figure. I think the questions should be mm -hmm. lighthearted. I said what I said. 
Okay. Brett, you, you good? <laughs> no. My turn. <laughs> Never had I ever had a boyfriend. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can I come? Okay. Tough crowd. Um, Never have I ever eaten... Logan! Hey guys! Oh, okay. Logan, you're, you're here in class. <clears throat> Duh, way to point out the obvious. Logan, I'm so happy to see you. Doc Mac said that you were moving classes and I knew it wasn't necessarily forever. Oh, um, I was actually going to move classes forever, but I'm Why? not... I'm not, well, don't worry about it, because I'm not anymore, because I belong here. Yes. Um, Logan, I, I, did, I wanted to say I'm really sorry about Okay, Brett, you don't need to worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. None of you did. And I wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way that I acted. It wasn't fair to any of you, and if I can redeem myself at all, I thought I could. Okay, class, I am back, and I am under a heavy amount of- Logan! Um, you made it to class. I'm so happy to see you back. Happy to be back. Well, you better be because otherwise you'd fail the class, right? <laughs> Remember, because I, I told you that you were failing the other day, so. Wait, you, you what? Oh, it's just a me and Logan thing. Don't worry about it. Oh, so like when you told me I was failing class, that was just a joke, right? <laughs> Hmm. Continue what you were saying, Logan. Oh, well, um, I won't miss another class again, but, um, my friend gave me some advice, and I wanted to take it and try something new. And if you guys don't like it, that's fine. I just wanted to share, because your honest input is important to me. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. Logan. I just am happy you're back. Crabs. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just fucking with you guys, okay. <laughs> Yesterday, I found that the sand on the beach only shines at night, whereas in the morning it remains dull and lifeless. Today, I find that the ocean shines and dances bright, regardless if the moon's presence graces the sky. Tomorrow, I'll find that only the ocean's might is shared between both, whereas the sands does not. Yesterday, I found that I have been sand before, only striving for the moon's attention. Today, I find that the sun means more. To hide myself away is a waste. Tomorrow, I'll find that to be like the ocean's lore, I can have the moon, yet gain the beloved sun. Whoa, that was so good! That was, that was an incredible poem. It was beautiful. Yeah. Thoroughly surprised. So awesome. And I knew it wasn't a comedy this time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Hey, um, Katie, what did you think? I thought um, it was beautiful. And thank you for making my last class really special. Like Wait, last class? No! No! no. Oh. Are we still playing the game?